Hey what's up guys I'm Nizio Cole and Sony just announced that they will be allowing crossplay on any games. They just gave all developers the green light to enable crossplay in their games and I just thought I'd share my thoughts and opinions on it. The original article is from GameRanks, link will be in the description. Now crossplay has been a thing for a while between whether it be Xbox and PC, Switch and Xbox, Xbox, PC and Switch, Switch and Mobile, PS4 and Mobile, but we've never had total crossplay except for a few games like Rocket League and Fortnite. I believe those are like the only two. Uh, besides Modern Warfare Beta, uh, those are the only three that have been fully crossplay. And uh, something I want to talk about, the reason why the Fortnite crossplay initiative was so monumental was because it's something we'd never seen before. You know, remember a year ago when Epic added crossplay to Fortnite? Yeah, well, that was a really big win for crossplay enthusiasts such as myself. But if you guys do remember when they accidentally, in quotation marks, accidentally added it back in, I think, February. So it was officially added in July, but it, they accidentally added it in February. An epic statement was something along the lines of it was a check mark that was accidentally marked when releasing an update. So we know that it isn't hard to implement crossplay in games. Another excuse they would use is they don't want to expose their tailored community to unknown players and unknown player bases, such as Xbox or Switch. So they're basically just calling every other console's player base toxic essentially I think this is really gonna open the door for a lot of new things one of them being crossplay as a selling point you remember how 4k was the big selling point a few years ago like 2018 e3 2018 you wouldn't go five seconds without hearing the word 4k being uttered especially in the Xbox press conference we were driven by three principles 4k 4k and deliver true 4k from the beginning our focus on game creators and you the gamer gave us three big goals we needed to hit. 4K resolution, 4K, 4K UHD Blu-ray playback. The original Xbox team lived by the mantra, there's no power greater than true 4K. Power, compatibility, and 4K. The most powerful console ever made. And if you think about it, Modern Warfare is supposed to represent a modern take on the Modern Warfare series. But now, as gamers, we're probably more diverse than ever. I mean, literally, Call of Duty Mobile just released, I think, yesterday or the day before. And that's something that wouldn't have even been possible 7, 8, 9, 10 years ago. We are just too diverse in this day and age to just not have crossplay. And I'm glad Sony is finally realizing what Microsoft and Nintendo realized years ago. Back when MW2 and MW3 were the biggest games out, we were all sort of divided by our consoles. I mean, most friend groups stayed on the same console. You were either 360 or PS3 if you were a serious gamer. But now everyone has different consoles, so it makes sense that they would want to sell it as crossplay at launch because then you'd have something to look forward to. Hey, this game franchise that I grew up with, I can finally play with all of my friends that I've made over the years as opposed to just being restricted to play with the friends that I've made on the same platform. But I guarantee you guys, Crossplay is going to be name dropped in almost every developer conference in 2020, just like we saw with Modern Warfare because developers knew that it was going to help sell their game. I'm going to be honest, I probably wouldn't have pre-ordered Modern Warfare if it wasn't for Crossplay. And I know a lot of people probably wouldn't because if you think about it, if you guys remember back in, I think it was February or March when Apex Legends came out. It was the big game, you know, like Fortnite was kind of, uh, people were kind of a little bit upset at the devs, so Apex was a nice refreshing game. There were rumors that they were going to add crossplay, and I'm pretty sure crossplay does now exist in Apex, uh, but they just waited way too long. Apex probably had the worst fall off of any game I've ever seen. And I think if it was crossplay at launch, it would have at least lasted until now. What do you buy multiplayer games for? To play with your friends. And if you can't play with your friends, then what's the point of buying it? Which is the whole reason. I usually, I rarely pre-order games, but is the whole reason I pre-ordered Modern Warfare, which is $60, which a lot of people probably wouldn't. And I think this is a really good step moving forward. Because if you think about it, Xbox has been really forthcoming with crossplay. They'd be like, hey, I don't care what platform it is. It's going to benefit all gamers, right? Sony was like, nope. And it was just a whole different excuse every single time it was brought up at like a convention or a conference or something like that. Oh, well, we don't want to expose our player base to the other toxic communities is essentially what they were saying. I guarantee you guys, come GDC 2020, E3 2020, you're going to hear crossplay thrown around a lot. And I'm really excited to see the future of gaming, especially with things like Google Stadia and Xbox's rumored all online gaming service coming out. 2020 is going to be a very exciting year for gaming. And that was pretty much all I wanted to talk about make sure to drop a like down below if you enjoyed this video and comment down below what's your thoughts and opinions on sony finally allowing crossplay and yeah it's been cool peace